Hello folks, Mac Eye Flies RC. We're out here at the Avon Park Aerial Modelers Club. Gonna take up the Flight Viper. Running high rates, which is 100% throws over 30% expo. All right. Motors on. Right aileron, left aileron, up elevator, down elevator, right rudder, left rudder. Take off flaps. Take off flaps. You know what we need to do before we do this? Flaps up. Let's just... Forgot something I forgot to do since I came out here. And this is something I should have done at back at the bench. Once. Looks like I got one hanging up on me. They let it sit a second. Well, I got one. Huh. Let's just leave them down. <laughs> just to be on the safe side now it may just need to be make sure the connection is good all right motor on well let's see how it does now yeah got one still hanging up Boy, with this sky, makes seeing this plane almost impossible. Makes seeing her almost impossible. All right. Flaps up. Tell you try. I'll try takeoff flaps this time. I think what I need to do is just take that retract out and uh, take it apart, which isn't that all that hard to do. Yeah, take it apart, make sure everything, and, and the E-Flight retracts are real easy to work with. And just in case you're wondering, i am got 100% throws, over 30% expo. All right. There we go. All right. Take off flaps. Flaps up.
Gonna go on the grass. Flaps up. But that's okay. I'd rather let her roll on the grass than try to fight her in a turn and she flip over on me. Okay now. All right. Flaps up. And you gotta have flaps at this point, that's for sure. Time remaining, one minute landing flaps. All right, we're gonna pretend our we we've lost our engines. Come in, dead stick. So got 51 seconds left. Landing flaps. Alright, we're gonna bring her by slow. Dirty. Stay away from the F-16 killing zone. We're going to bring another dead stick landing in. All right, there we go. I'm not saying do dead stick all the time because it's all about airspeed. If you've got enough airspeed to maintain lift, that's fine. But you start getting the, to a critical stall point, that's when you need <laughs> got to make sure you keep enough momentum to maintain enough airspeed to keep enough air going over that wing to provide lift. When you no longer have lift, that's when you stall. So dead sticking it in, you know, you kind of have to dive. If you had a plane up high and it was a prop or a by wing and suddenly you're out of the engine, you know, you're gonna have to dive to pick up enough airspeed to make sure you have enough speed when you land. You don't want to stall. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends. Nice. Motor off. We flew for three minutes and 15 seconds. And, uh, oh, shoot. Well, let's, motor's off. Let me speed back. I'll be using my speed on the camera to get back to the look how beautiful this plane is so to get back and maybe my cameraman i'll just keep her out of the camera because she don't like it, she'll hand me my battery checker would be awesome all right i'm gonna turn back towards the plane now all right and let's see oh just so y'all a couple y'all are asking me where i have my receiver if you look down in there, that's the AR630 antennaless receiver. The antenna mainly is faced towards the, the, the uh, butt of the, uh, or the bottom of the plane. So uh, that's where I got. Let's see how much life I have left in the tank. Or as GB Linden like to say, how much, how much gas is in the tank still. Okay. 44% so we could have flown for another minute all right folks thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe that's where i've got the 3200 6s smart battery y'all have a good and don't forget faith family and friends and planes